Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Reverend? I just want to thank you for saving my life. The liquor is not my friend, Mr. Morgan. It really isn't. I make such a fool of myself. Don't worry about it. You're a fine man. Now, lying on the other hand, that really is a sin. Hi there. Mr. Morgan, you seem chipper. But where there's life, there's hope, my friend. And? What are you doing? What's it look like I'm doing? It looks like you're reading. And I am. Why do you ask? Just making conversation. I'm sorry. <laughs> Arthur, Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. Uh, you know, just, a, just a few bucks, and I'm short. Get lost. Well, well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. You know, I think we're gonna be okay. Sure, but what next? All that money, lost in Blackwater. We have licked our wounds long enough. We do what we do. We make more money, and before they even realize that we're here, we're gonna be gone again. And after that? I ain't losing to these, these fools, Arthur. You know me better than that. We get to work here. We make money, and then we head back out west to freedom. Oh, 
I ain't wavering, son. I don't think you should just be wandering around here, friend. Not a thing happens round here without an O'Driscoll saying so. Understand me? Consider this a warning. You really should Round me. Ain't wise. You'll be meeting... Mister? Let's go, girl. Yeah. Yeah. That should do it, girl. You idiot. Thank you. 
Sure. Thank you, you saved me. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was bad. Sure. Uh, I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? <sighs> well, thank you. You need a ride home, ma'am? Oh. Oh, yes, mister, please. Thank you. Do you know Valentine? I live there. No problem. Would you mind? There's not space enough for me on the horse. Yeah, it won't take long, girl. Never mind. I'll find my own way. Sorry, ma'am. Okay, then. Interesting way of putting it, Seamus. Well, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. Hi there. This is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves to this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage, 
I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Uh, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> really? Really. Look out, Arthur. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. You could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. folks would have cut and run on us, given everything that happened. Like Dutch always says, a lone wolf don't last long out on the plains. He does like to trot that one out. People see that, especially when they get a few years on them. Even someone like Micah. There's a couple of folk. Hey, let's keep it down now. We must be close. Oh, that must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's wait. Okay, let's go. Sure. You go into the house. I'll go find this wagon. Maybe take a peek through the windows before you go in. Make sure it's all quiet.
Get on, dear boy. the better right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece and it's a good night's work. So what were you able to lift from the house? A few bits and pieces. Nothing too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. Hey, slow it down. Exactly. How long do you think we're gonna stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. I hope it's not stashed in town like we did in Blackwater. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Yep. Whoa, whoa! Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. things with you. You missing your tree yet? I feel like chopping it down. We'll all be watching you. Hey! How are you? Covered from that business in the hotel? Oh, yeah. So we gonna hit that bank I told you about?
Getting real low on meat here. Thank you, Arthur. Really need you boys to get out there and hunt. Supplies are low. Many thanks. Arthur. Hey. Hey. Won't take long.
Come on, girl. Yep. this Arthur Arthur come lend a hand here go ahead and call your mom a fool I care smarten him up will you? oh hell wasting my time anyway somebody get the floor stop moving you could have stepped in I thought you had it covered just wait till you're old. I'll be in camp if you need me. Maybe try keeping your mouth shut next time. Oh, come on. <laughs> You'd all be bored as rocks without me. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Hello, Arthur. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and... You come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. Listen, Arthur, 
I... I'm... My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? And you want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. <laughs> He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... but I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. for the blind.
Penny for the blind. Penny for the blind. Penny for the blind. <coughs> Help a blind man. Okay, sure. I sense great confusion in you, sir. Great confusion. Not because you do not know, but because you are afraid of what you know. Okay, I will try to bear that in mind. Are you still here? What are you waiting for? I can't tell you what you want to hear. Come on, girl. Sir, please help me out of here. Oh, oh, thank the Lord you showed up when you did. Oh, the things he said he'd do to me. It's all right, ma'am. It's over now. Thank you. Again. Nice folks around here. the wilderness to found 
a great place of safety. A place of safety. That is where we are heading, Jamie. Yes, Jamie. That is where we are heading. Yes, Jamie, we are heading to paradise. Gentlemen! Shell of safety. Shell of safety. Can I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut, dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? Only when dealing with idiots. Now let me talk to the boy. I'm starting to lose my patience with you. Goddamn lunatic. Stop it, Arthur. <clears throat> That's enough, Arthur. Now, kid, come on. This is crap. You're better than this. Better than what? Better than one in paradise? Better than thinking these fools know a damn thing about paradise. Now, let me take you home. You're a sad man, Arthur. You're a real sad man. Sure. Well, come home. Not a chance!
Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yep. Oh. This wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. Didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of... Carpentry or horses or something, but all right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Pneumonia. She told me. So the door's open, so to speak. That's all in the past different people now. She's not. And you seem just the same. Well, maybe that right there's a problem. She was always too good for me. Now, let's just get you back to your sister. She's waiting at the station for us. Here we are. She must be waiting inside.
father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Out of the way! Interested in a good read? Great choice. Thanks. Have a great day. Get your news here, Valentine. Well, new marksman in town. Welcome. Oh, wait. You're that fellow who had to fight with Tommy outside of Smithfields? Yep. People are still talking about that fight. I ain't. Well, fair enough. Neither's Tommy. Anyway, how can I help you today?
Wow. Yeah, never mind. Worth a shot. Let me have a look. Thanks, mister. Howdy. New in town? Snake oil. You have no idea the trouble I had to go through to get that. Now, if you're gonna want to stay sharp, I should have a stock available. Look in my catalog. Just show me what you want, I'll fetch it right up. Now that's a deal. Okay. Done. Should be good. First time this talk is shows me. You ain't worth two shits, whole damn lot here. This time, all right. One tree. One buffalo. Hi, folks. One Come on, Doc. I shot 19 of them. Don't think I've once. seen you around here before. Well, What's it to be? No, redskins. Oh, no. How many redskins are killed? But they deserved it. They weren't Christians. So I sent them to hell. You should have thanked me. All you fools should thank me. Wild West, no more around here. Ain't nothing. I like the pretty way you talk. Nice. More goddamn America. More goddamn shots. More goddamn prissy women in men's clothing and women in women's clothing. Lady, you look as tasty as rat fruit. My old best. Huh, you are Chicken filth. Skin a bear with your T-cell, me Now guys. I know what you're thinking. Look Why at you. every barber work in a saloon? Oh, all make a fella sick. But no one's seen you since. Doc says he's off recovering someplace, but I ain't... Hey, Fern! You're a weed, Fern! And everyone knows it. Here we go again. Folks in Valentine ain't getting any richer. Don't take a sharp wit to see that. That's the way it goes. What's wrong with you? Fool? Is this some dried blood in here? Look at you. Well, ask no questions. Look at you. Are you interested in some company? And it was goddamn men. You ain't men, a whole lot of you. Thank you. Well, okay. that's too bad for you. You ain't even women. You're you're something else. You're revolting. <laughs> I'm revolted. I'm tempted to gouge my eyes out. All right. Just for the That's fact that they friend. saw Hello. you. <laughs> Hello. I wouldn't you? do you the hey, dignity you. of pissing on you. Hey, watch. What the hell is wrong? Do you need something? Do you need something? Morning, friend.
Welcome back. Good morning, mister. I need a wash. Get a bath. I got someone warming it up for you already. Just head down the corridor there. Would you like some help in here? Maybe another time. All right, suit yourself. I've been in Valentine so long, I just don't see myself anywhere else. You arrange a bath, I need a wash. I got someone warming it up for you already. Just head down the corridor there. Can I get some assistance in here, please? Just relax. I'll take care of you. Hope the water's hot enough. Let me know if you'd like a bit of an extra scrub anywhere. So how's it going? Fine, thank you. Gotta take a break sometime. Life's too short. You're telling me. All right, that's perfect. Thanks. See you then. Oh, it's, uh, you. Yes, it is. Last time I checked. I, I really don't need any more trouble. I did. Back for some more provisions. Got everything you need. Have a look. Ain't no other outfit beats their prices.
thank you. Good doing business with you. It's all yours. That's it. for now. Let's get here. Morning, partner. Morning to you. Good morning, mister. but I need some money. I fought in the war. I fought for you. Good morning, sir. Hey, brother. Hey, mister. Mister. I never learned your name. I never did. You're like a brother. But I didn't learn your name. And I said to myself, Mickey, you never learned that fella's name. Now, you'll never see him again, and you'll be sad, like when your puppy passed, because you slept on it. What's your name, mister? Arthur. Arthur? My uncle's name was uh. Arthur. Uncle uh. Arthur, we called him, on account of his name. Uh. It's a fine name, a strong name. Like a king. You could be my king, Mr. Arthur. Yes, you could. Let's go, girl.
Okay, girl. Yeah. Come on, girl. Yep. Things in town made us some money. I am mighty glad to be out of that cold, Mr. Morgan. Me too. Oh. I am getting too old for this gallivan. <laughs> Me too. <sighs> Escape route, same as usual. But we are making money. And we will find an escape. We are gonna be okay. I agree. We'll get some big money and get lost. Mr. Morgan. Like you say, this is a big country. We can always get lost. Yes, and we can always make more money. All good there, Pearson? Still need more food, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, you should try your luck again with that bow. A stew without good meat is no stew at all, Mr. Morgan. Can't have that pot go completely empty. Dutch? Good job, Mr. Morgan.
touch. Hi, Reverend. Oh, hello, Bill. Hello, Uncle. What, Arthur? Hey, Morgan. No more desperate, Strauss. It's in Adetta's nature. Mr. Morgan, Mr. Morgan, you saved my life, and I'm, well, I'm very grateful. Don't mention it, Reverend. I, I made a fool of myself. We've all done it. I just, I just, I get so confused and, and angry, and then I, I hear God laughing at me, and I get even angrier, and, well, I'm a real prized dolt. I know it. Hello, Mr. Morgan. So, Mr. Morgan, whatever did happen with that Mary Gillis? Uh, it all came to nothing, Miss Grimshaw. Mm, that's for the best. Sure. Of course. I never did like her very much.
thought we skipped the small talk, eh? Hey, Misty. Oh. Hello. Why today, isn't it? Sure. What a country. I'm working on a project. Photography. Yeah, I guess that bit. <laughs> of course. Wildlife. That's my thing. Or well, that's what I want to be my thing. If I have to take another picture of a grumpy housefrau or pompous middle-class burger, I will feed myself to the lions. Stand here. Here? Just... There. Albert Mason. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. I'm trying to find and capture images of our great predators before our greatest predators kill them all and stick them on some clubhouse wall. Good luck with that. Yes. Not the easiest. But, well... I love a challenge. The trick is to leave a big load of meat and relax and pray they don't mistake me for lunch. Oh! Good heavens! My bag! That thing is robbing me! Oh, good heavens! Don't worry. That thing is a coyote. Sneaky one, too. Wildlife photographer. <laughs> This is what I'd call a robbery gone wrong, Coyote. full of meat will tend to bring out the worst in the local population. You are a gentleman. The bag also had a lot of my supplies. You've saved me days. I can't thank you enough. I'm, I'm, thank you. Don't worry about it. I'm, uh, you take care, sir. <laughs> I ain't the one trying to get myself eaten. I realize I am a fool. <laughs> Forgive me. And thank you very much once again.
Yeah. Second, will you? Oh. You're getting robbed, so slow up there. <laughs> Whoa.
How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? Who knows? I... Just... Mm. <clears throat> Where is that little Irish best? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Oh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they wanna trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. We can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Scaldings, boys, are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure. Well, we'll rescue Sean and then we'll get ourselves lost good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. There, look. I think that's our boat. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Let's make sure it's him first before you go starting another war. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Let's go. Stay with them. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. the pace a bit apparently there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west I imagine that's where they're headed
Look, they've stopped. All right. Let's take a closer look. Binoculars, gentlemen? So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skeldon's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Crouch down out of sight. Take out your knife. Stay here. Okay, let's move down. Don't cross until he's got their attention. Wait here. He's still willing them in. Gentlemen, excuse me. Dear brothers, my wife is taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You She's take the one on the left. Where is she? Okay, come on. Stay low. I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I, I can't. I can't. I, I'm having a fit. <laughs> Come on, let's get up there. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. Okay, lean all those boots you got there, eh? Oh, they're very nice. Who's the guy you got them from? Is he alive still? Yeah. Come on!
Charles. All good? Wouldn't go that far. The camp's up this way. Come on. Charles, you take the right. I'll go left. Okay. Take him down! Goddamn army! How much is Charles Bound? Less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Uh, do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine y'all miss me a lot, but fear not, the joy's back in your lives now. <laughs> 